me again. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another installment of decluttering my life Mainly because I'm really enjoying this and it is making me feel better So I decided I was just gonna roll with it and make this a little mini series and declutter as many things as I possibly can think of in and around my life today We're tackling my bedroom office, which I'm currently sitting in. If you recall, I created this office space last year If you have not seen that video, I highly encourage you to watch it because it is probably my favorite video that I've ever made. I love this project. I'll link the video down below. This is one of the most important spaces in my room. Over the past year since I created it, I went through two semesters of college, my senior year. I graduated. I do all of my work here. I feel like it's gotten so cluttered. That needs to change immediately. So that's what we're doing today in this video. Small space organization is one of those very niche things that I am utterly obsessed with. I don't know why. I literally don't know why, but I am obsessed with small space organization. Everything about it fascinates me. I think that it's so creative and strategic. I love thinking about how you can really make the most out of a space. My bedroom office space is small. Over the past year, I have realized that I could probably implement some more organization, some more storage, maybe switch some things out and do some things better. Besides just that, I have this wall here that I'm looking at right now that is pretty much blank. I mean, I have a couple things hung here, but it's not actually being used for any functional purpose but I feel like I want to have a couple of shelves here or something that I can actually like put things on because there are a couple of decorations I have sitting on my desk but I feel like I'm always having to move them off my desk because I need the whole desk space for my work area the key I feel like for organizing the small space is to really use the walls you have all of this wall space and if you're not using it to store things or hang things then those things are just gonna get thrown on the floor or on a desk that you need to use or on a bookshelf that is otherwise nicely organized. So yesterday I went shopping for some new organizational storage things for this area. And I actually ended up finding some really good stuff that I'm super excited to implement. So I will insert those vlog clips from yesterday now. I mean, that is so unnecessary. All right, I'm about to go to a couple of stores. We're gonna do some organizational supplies shopping, which is my favorite kind of shopping. done at home goods and came over to our second location my first order of business in this store is to find a bathroom because i have to pee like a racehorse I see over, over that I'm I got 
and then we can kind of go from there with what my plans are for this space. I need to change my camera battery first, one second. Hi, you're currently propped up on my hat stairs that I built for Charlie so she can get up to my bed because she's too small to jump. All right, so let's start with the things that I got from Home Goods, which you guys really already saw, but I wanted to show you anyway. The first thing, which was pretty much the main thing that I went out looking for, is this pack of shelves for the wall. These are the contents of the pack. So there are two 18 inch shelves. A lot of the shelves that I was seeing were 24 inches, but 24 inches in that space after I measured it, I felt like would be too big. So these are actually 18 inch shelves, which is literally perfect. And the other thing that I got from Home Goods, I literally bought five of the same thing. I found these bins and they are stackable, really nice little bins. So I bought five of them. There were so many of them at Home Goods, and if you've ever been to a Home Goods, you know that it's kind of random what they have there. So you're not sure if you're going to be able to find multiple of one thing. But I thought that these would be so useful in my bookshelf. Currently, I have four bins. They're too long to fit next to each other, so I have two that are sitting the way that I want, and then I have two that I had to like flip around. These actually are the perfect height and length to fit. So it's going to look like this with all four of them on my shelf. And then I ended up buying an extra one because I want to replace the clear bin that I have my camera and stuff in with this because like I said, it's stacking. So I'll be able to put stuff in here, but then I'll also be able to stack things on top of it, which I think is just a better use of the space. Stacking is very important. <laughs> if you haven't caught on, at least in my mind, the more things you can stack on top of other things, the better because you're saving space. You're only taking up this area of space, not like expanding, if you know what I mean. These are gonna be so convenient and so nice. I'm so excited. So these were $9.99 each which for a bin is kind of crazy and I did buy five of them but they're gonna be perfect for what I need them for so that is all that I got from home goods and then I didn't end up getting anything from at home because they literally had nothing which is crazy because the store is just a massive warehouse of stuff and I was looking for something that I could use to organize my writing utensils but then I spent a lot of time yesterday when I got home looking on the internet for different things that I could maybe use and then I was like this it's just it's just too much i already did have another plan in place for what i could potentially do with some writing utensils that's where the next two items come in i had this idea for my i don't know how to explain what it even is it's a thing that's on my wall this like wire organizer i'm inserting an overlay as we speak so you'll see what i'm talking about it has these three attachments as you can see here there's only one for writing utensils because probably the normal person wouldn't have more writing utensils than this small container can fit, but I can't stop buying writing utensils. I've accumulated a lot of them, so I need more space. I had to get creative, and here is what I thought of. I bought these off of Amazon. These are acrylic pen holders, these little two cubes. They're supposed to conventionally sit on your desk, but as we know, if you can hang something on the wall, I'm gonna do that over having something else take up space on the desk because I need that desk space for actual work. So we have these two, okay? What I'm planning on doing is attaching them to the thing that's on my wall with command hooks. I bought these command hooks, so they look like this, okay? I'm planning on attaching it to this thing, like this. I'm gonna use two of them on each, so it's gonna end up looking like this, okay? So then I'm going to hang this on the wire. Thing. So then I'll have two containers for my writing utensils. I don't even know if that's gonna look right. That's my idea. So we're gonna go with it and we're gonna try it out. I think that's it for the haul of things that I got for this. I mean, who knows? I'll probably end up getting more stuff. That is correct, shorty. I'm gonna jump back over to my desk. We're gonna see what we can do. Okay, first of all, it's July now. So I should probably flip this. All right, so here's the sitch. How do I want to do this? I think I'm going to definitely take this off. I want to move this one up. This one should be over, maybe. Maybe I could hang it like on a lower one. And then I could put one here. Or should I put them together? Or would that look stupid? I don't know. So this is for the wall. And by wall, we need this. It's go time. We're gonna test this out and see what the f Okay. Oh, that's actually scratching my fucking wall. So I'm gonna duct tape the ends to make them not scratch my wall. It's called problem solving. Look it up. Okay. Oh, perfect! 
Okay, that's literally perfect. It's kind of a f***ing brilliant idea if you ask me. All taped up. I'm gonna put that one over here. Now I have black pens and pencils in here and also highlighters. And then these are all the colored pens. Next, I want to put the new storage bins in my bookshelf, but I actually need to, okay, this chair has to go. Perfect. Guys, guys, I'm obsessed. Seriously, tell me that that is not satisfying. Time to open these bad boys. Nice. Does it come with like directions or anything? Or are we just free balling it here? No directions, just vibes. Got it. Literally nothing. Give me nothing, you guys. I don't think I've ever bought anything that I had to build or hang up that did not come with directions. Maybe I'm stupid for needing directions, but I don't think that I am. Right, I'm pretty sure these are like the worst shells ever. Like, it's this isn't even what's moving, it's the shelf. Like, there's no way that that is gonna hold anything. So now, naturally, I had eight ginormous holes in my wall and no idea how to proceed. I did, however, know that the first step would be to fix my wall. So I spackled the holes and went over and repainted the wall with the same color. I've had this color for like two years. It's coming so clutch. I then spent an absolutely unfathomable amount of time on the internet searching for new floating shelves, reading every review possible because I did not want to make the same mistake again. And I just was not finding anything that I was excited about. So in conclusion, I decided I was going to make my own. Once I decided I wanted to embark on this little DIY project adventure. Can you hear that in the background? That is my cat.
on the scratching post. Anywho, we went to Lowe's to pick up some supplies. First thing I got were some brackets to attach the shelves to the wall. So I just got these white ones and I got four of them, two for each shelf. Then I headed over to the lumber section to look for a piece of pine wood. I wanted a one inch by eight inch piece of wood, but I ended up getting a one by 10 by four and we're just gonna trim it down to the dimensions that I want. One by 10 by four is half the length and I only need two 18 inch shelves. So I felt like getting an eight foot board, there'd be a lot left over and that was $20. So this one was $13 for half of it. My total was 20 bucks for the four shelving brackets and the board. I already have staying at home 20 bucks to make my own shelves. So there's your eight inches. So now I've got, from the thickness of this blade, I have a true eight inch. Thickness of this blade, I don't, so I have to adjust it again. I look like a literal ghost when I wear all black, but I'm wearing all black because I don't want my clothing to get stained by the wood stain. And it's very hot out here, so I turned the fan off so I could talk. So at this point, I am going to stain the wood that we just cut for my shelves. These are my shelves. Here is one plank, two planks. I still have the stain that I used last year when I did my bedroom office and we made my desk. So the stain on these shelves is gonna be the exact same one as is on the wood on my desk and it's the same kind of wood too. They're both pine. Hopefully they end up matching. That's the goal here. I am gonna go through and sand both of these and then put on the pre-stained wood conditioner and then I'm gonna put on the stain. I think while I do that, I'm going to turn on my VPN and watch Love Island UK season seven. And this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Just kidding, no it's not. So after the stain had dried on the boards for about a day, I was ready to attach the brackets to the shelves. First, I needed to find screws that would work because the holes on the brackets were very small. So I went out into the garage where we had like 8 million different screws and nails. And to my luck, there was not one. Actually, I'm kidding. Sorry, there was one. One single one that would work, which then led me to go back to Lowe's. Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain The smell of steamed out Hello everyone, I just returned from Lowe's for the third time this week I hope that now I am ready to finish these shelves So to address the elephant in the room Fluff is just like chilling on the coffee table so anyway, so I realized, as you guys saw, although we have so many different sizes and shapes of nails and screws, we didn't have any that would work for this project. So I went to Lowe's and I got two packs because I wasn't exactly sure which size would work. So I got a number six and a number four, both three quarters of an inch. So we're just gonna see what happens. I wanna finish these shelves so bad. The stain looks so good. I am so excited to hang these and I'm excited to see them in the same area with my desk. I also went ahead earlier and marked which side was gonna be the bottom and then also marked which edge is going to be against the wall. And then I colored in the holes of the anchors so that I would know where to put them. And that leads us to 
right now. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture. I'm gonna use the number fours because these holes are really tiny and they fit better. So yeah, let's get to it. The thunder, the Arizona thunder tonight. Roads to the horizon, past the oasis, it's all behind ya. Mirage of agua, the stars above ya, the creatures' days to nocturnal days. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do. I'm perfectly mad at that after three mistakes and a broken nail. I'm kind of impressed with myself. These motherfuckers better withstand boulders. Even if a hurricane were to come through, even though we live in Pennsylvania, and the whole house fell, this better still be standing. Mm -hmm. I am not joking. The shelves are in place and they're all done and i am so happy okay so the last thing that i want to do here is actually clean and declutter the space i saved this for last because i knew that putting up the shelves was going to make a mess didn't realize how much of a mess this whole thing would turn into and that i would actually end up making my own shelves it is super messy in here very cluttered i need to vacuum the dust up from all the drilling that we just did. Fully clean my desktop and get rid of anything that I don't need, like old papers. I also wanna put some stuff up on the shelves. That'll probably be it because at that point, I will hopefully be happy with the space. Oh, I actually got something from Lowe's in the mail that I will be using. Hold on, my hair is falling out. This is what I ordered from Lowe's. It's for my extension cord and all my cables. This is a little bit bigger than I expected, so I might need to rearrange some things under my desk. Anywho, I'm gonna go grab the little handheld vacuum and try and get up as much dust as possible and then can start cleaning. of this video which turned out to be far longer than ever anticipated but that is fine before we go i obviously have to show you how everything turned out so i'm going to do a little before versus after montage <laughs>
you so much for watching. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If not for anything else, give it a thumbs up for the extremely broken nail that I now have from hanging up the shelves. They look cute, but this really hurts. Anyway, if you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday. Actually, wait, this is Monday. Usually every single Sunday. I promise I'll get my shit together. If you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday or if we have a time like this where I can't post a video on Sunday, I have to post it on Monday, or I don't know what time it's gonna go up on Sunday, just make sure you have my post notifications for my channel turned on. That's the easiest way to get notified right when I post a new video. Make sure that your notifications are also on for YouTube in your phone's settings so that you can actually receive the notification to your phone. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys all have a one for rest of your day. Have a great week. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,